Hello and welcome to this Pearson Primary Geography Unit Briefing. In this video, I'll be taking you through our unit on villages, towns and cities. The national curriculum states that pupils should be able to describe and understand types of settlement and land use patterns, as well as how some of these aspects have changed over time. This unit helps pupils to consider these main types of settlements and land use, as well as recapping the Key Stage 1 content on key human features such as cities, towns, villages, farms, houses, offices, ports, harbours and shops. Furthermore, comparisons between the United Kingdom, Europe and North America will be included throughout. So let's take a closer look at the work booklet that the pupils will complete as they move through this unit. The booklet begins with a double page knowledge organiser. Key geographical vocabulary is included as well as picture examples to make really clear the differences between villages, towns and cities. A summary of those differences is then provided, as well as how land is used in cities. Each of these six lessons is framed around an inquiry question. It may be helpful to share this question at the beginning of the lessons to frame the learning, as well as ending the lesson by having pupils drop their key reflections in the learning review column here. Now let's take a closer look at each of these lessons in turn. The first lesson asks, where do people live? Pupils will consider the population of the whole world and how the distribution of this population is unevenly spread across the world. They'll also study the population density map of the UK, giving them a clear idea of where people live in our country. Lesson two asks, what affects where people live? This will allow pupils to consider how and why humans first began to settle. There are good opportunities for links here with the prehistoric unit. Finally, natural resources will be explored and how these can make a location more attractive to settle near. Lesson three asks, how do human settlements differ? Pupils here will consider the key criteria and differences between villages, towns and cities. The employment opportunities, transport links and leisure opportunities can be compared with the pros and cons of each type of settlement considered. Lesson four asks, what makes up a city? Pupils will consider land use within cities and how different areas may be allocated as green spaces or for residential blocks or for commercial buildings. The emergence of mega cities, usually taken to mean cities with more than 10 million people, will also be explored. Lesson five asks, can you design your own settlement? Pupils will use their knowledge of different settlement types as well as the pros and cons of different natural resources to design their ideal settlement. And the final lesson, lesson six, gives pupils the statement, there are more advantages than disadvantages to living in a city. Do you agree? Pupils will be able to use and apply their knowledge of villages, towns and cities to take a position and argue their case. We hope that you enjoy teaching this Pearson unit on villages, towns and cities and that your students enjoy learning all about it. The video ends here.